my god! Dude, look at the squad, bro. Eagle squad, Eagle guys. Eagle squad. Three eagles. Eagle Palooza. I mean, one more eagle and they got a band. There's another one! Oh my god, guys, the Eagles are playing live right now. Welcome to the Hotel Manitoba. <laughs> What's up guys, we're the Vaga Brothers. Right now we are in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. It's dawn, we're on the Red River, and we're going catfishing. Let's go. You ready? Well, you almost did in goose poop. Yeah, but I'm ready, let's do it. Oh, he just stepped in. Did I? <laughs> oh, no. No, dude, I'm good. The Red River is, as you can see, named because the water is a little bit murky, but it's good catfishing territory. So we're here with Todd. He's gonna be our guide today. What's the plan for today, Todd? We're gonna go slam some monster channel cats, boys. <laughs> These are the real river monsters of North America. Can you tell us a bit more about the rock and roll style? Well, you know, I, I've got the long hair. Uh, I like to party and, and I fish. Rock and roll fisherman. Who knew? <laughs> All right, let's do it. That was such an incredible view cruising down the Red River, blasting it in the boat, and then the pelicans, oh my God, we just chased like 25 white pelicans right down the river. <sighs> Mornings in Canada, bro, summertime in Canada. So the Red River is one of the only rivers in North America that runs north. Also, the water here is kind of uh, a bit muddy, and that's actually what the word Winnipeg means in Cree, it means muddy waters. But you know, Alex doesn't like my hat. I like my hat, bro. You look like a sa little sailor. I am a little sailor. Well, it's just on sideways and backwards. Well, I don't care. I, it's, called, okay. it's called turning 30 and just not caring about these sort of things anymore. Pull up. Yeah. And then reel down. Oh my god, that's take heavy. Him, take him to the corner. Whoa! <laughs> reel right, down. Get in the hang of it, get in the hang of it. You're reeling in a fish like I have sex, not very good and all over the place. <laughs> When you see it, you go, holy F. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I got it. Oh my God, he's huge. Somebody take this one right here. Grab that one. Grab I that one. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, oh, not this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull it out. Hand above the reel. Oh my okay, God. Okay, you got him. Let me just say that this is really intense. There is so oh much God, fishing going on. Fish on. Literally, we, he's taking down one fish, pulling it into the boat. The other rod's going off, and they're so strong that you have to jump on it right away, otherwise it's gonna go over the bed. Anyways, Todd's measuring this first fish. It's 35 battered. inches. No way. Ow. Wow, all right. Alex is really in the second one. I'm simply trying to capture it all, so. Dude, we've just caught two like 35 inch plus catfish in five minutes. Look at this beast, bro. Look at that thing, whoa. I don't know why you're bent over like that. <laughs> you're like the hunchback of Notre Dame, a Quasimodo over there. I felt like a like a brave, a warrior waiting for the buffalo. If that's what you're calling it, <laughs> I'm waiting for the buffalo. Okay, have your ear to the ground to hear the buffalo. Hold on, hold on. Just focus and shut up for a second. Yeah. Pull it back. Yeah. yeah. You're on. I can't stop that. It's uncontrollable! <laughs> oh, oh, that was a nice one. Oh. Oh, That's how you catch the buffalo. And uh, <laughs> you don't have to hold him against your teeth. Hold on here. He was so heavy. <laughs> Back where you came from, young one. Go! Little buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the funniest moment. <laughs> Honestly, I'm having so much fun. This is really fun. Todd, you are awesome. This is making it. This is making it a lot of fun. <sighs> Well guys, what better way to uh, switch things up from a fishing morning 
to a spa afternoon. One of my favorite things about all Canadian cities is they all come equipped with a really, really good Nordic style spa. So we're gonna go inside, see what treatments we can do and just chill out until nightfall. Spas are one of those things that just have to be done occasionally. I think when you're traveling, you know, like your body hurts because you've been sitting or moving around and you haven't been sleeping well because of jet lag and time differences and stuff. So what better way to just let it all drift away. Here we go. Honestly, that it has been just a couple of hours of just pure bliss. Perfect way to end this trip, been in nature, caught some awesome fish. Now we're chilling. We're gonna have some dinner right now. Yeah, got a very healthy salad. A vegan farmer's feast, but I needed a little bit of meat, so I ordered some chicken on the side. Are you ready, bro? I'm eating, bro. Refreshed, relaxed, rejuvenated, cleansed. Let's go hit the town and get a beer. Start that process all over again. found it, the craft beer spot here in Winnipeg. Let's go get one. So guys, we've just arrived to the Forks, which is like this big food hall uh, at the confluence of the two main rivers, the Red River and the other river here, which name I don't know. But we've made it to the Commons, which is a craft brewery. It's Friday night, we're gonna have some beers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. All right, well, it has been a most excellent day in Winnipeg. We have fish, we have spawn, and chill, and now we have some craft beers here after an excellent meal. Overall a success, and furthermore, Manitoba in general, with the trip to Lake Aikens, also a success. So if you want more information about Manitoba, check the links in the info box. You know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to Vaga Brothers if you have not already. In the meantime, remember, stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see you guys on the road. Peace. Love you guys. Laters. <laughs>